everyone! I'm in a different location. Um, this is uh, my partner's bedroom. It's very messy, <laughs> but the uh, the lighting is um, more conducive to you are seeing my face, and I'm going to be talking about um, my favorite sunscreens today, um, as well as uh, a new mascara that I've enjoyed, and um, a couple other things uh, that I got in my Allure box recently um, that I really liked, and I wanted to um, share my experience with them and uh, let you know that you should check them out as well. Um, so the first thing I wanted to say is that um, I tried MD Solar Sciences sunscreen and a, um, an, a lip balm, actually it's more like a lipstick with SPF as well from that company when they had a sale. It was 25% uh, off, I think for Valentine's Day. And um, I'm so impressed. Um, I So first of all, the sunscreen, and this was something that um, Dr. Dre, uh, the dermatologist recommended, um, and she's like right about everything. So, um, so I gave it a try. I've never um, been uh, disappointed by any sunscreen that she's recommended. Um, so, I mean, if you aren't following her already, you definitely should be. Like drop everything, stop watching me, and go, and go follow her. But, um, so this is the Mineral Kid Cream, and um, it's an SPF 50. Um, all of my uh, facial sunscreens are um, mineral sunscreens. Uh, I just like the physical barrier. And um, while some people do complain about any sort of cast, like a whitish cast or a lavender cast, I love that because I don't, first of all, I'm pale, so, you know, um, it, it doesn't, um, it's not a mismatch for my skin, typically. I'm going to talk about one that kind of is because it's, it's like pure white um, that I used to like, but I don't really enjoy it anymore. Um, but um, this one doesn't, it's not as white and reflective as um, the typical um, um, untinted mineral sunscreen. Um, this one is also, so they're, they brand it as kid cream, um, because it's for sensitive skin, and, uh, I don't know, I guess it's, it's not uncomfortable on your skin the way that some other sunscreens might be, so I guess kids would be more amenable to wearing it. Um, I don't remember the price, I'm sorry, um, I did get it on sale, I don't remember it being exorbitant, I mean, some sunscreens that I've bought in the past that have uh, been really high caliber have been, it's like, uh, can I justify this? And then yes, I can because it's um, saving my skin. And um, also if it produces a, a nice healthy sheen on my face, um, I'm far more likely to uh, use it until I run out. So, um, oh, I also wanted to mention, so the reason I don't mind the whitish cast is um, that I don't wear any kind of foundation on my skin. Um, this is my skin, um, again, it's very bright in here still, but, uh, you can probably see. I don't, I don't put anything on my skin that's going to cover up my complexion. I like the look of natural skin, for the most part, um, unless I have acne or, like, a recovering, um, like a red mark, um, and I will just dot a little bit of concealer on that, um, like, uh, the least amount that I can get away with because the reason I don't like um, foundation, no matter what they say, it it always makes you look older. Um, like you can't go out and be in the sun and sweat and come and expect to look like you want to look. Um, it's just I don't know. I <laughs> there there are um, very few powders I even like to have on my face because they're going to settle into um, your pores, your lines if you have them, or just look artificial cakey and like you have aged skin. Um, so anyway, uh, so th this one um, isn't, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. When you squeeze it out of uh, the tube, there's a little tube type of, of like a big uh, titanium dioxide oil paint style tube. <laughs> um, it's almost, it's like an off-white, it's not a bright white, and it's very, um, 
I don't know if that's going to help any. It's, it's kind of like a pudding texture. Um, I, this is the most luxurious feeling sunscreen I've ever used on my face. And it doesn't, um, it doesn't make you shiny, but it does make your skin look fresh and healthy. And um, it just sort of, it, it kind of melts into your skin, but you can still, you, you, if you do like a half base, you'll still be able to see like, oh, this side has it on and this side doesn't. But anyway, I absolutely love this. It's, it's like a velvety pudding kind of texture. Just so, so wonderful. So when I placed that order, um, I was like, ah, if it's 25% off, I am going to finally try one of their tinted um, sun lip sunscreens. And um, unlike any, oh, there you go, you can totally see that. Um, and I wanted to try, um, this is the, I think they call it Ruby. Um, there was one called Spice that looked really good because um, it, it looked like a natural lip color, but darker, like a, a deep skin tone kind of, um, uh, not quite mauve, but like a, a more red tinged skin, um, I don't know if you imagine like a dark suntan, but with a little bit of red, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I only got one because they're, they are pricey. Um, and I couldn't be more impressed with this. I mean, it, to it really shows up on your skin. Um, Unlike some lip balms, oh, let me see, there, there. Unlike some lip balms, or almost all tinted uh, lip balms, especially if they have sunscreen that I've tried, um, they're very uh, like oily and slick. They don't stay on like a lipstick or even like chapstick, and chapstick feels uncomfortable. This feels just um, like a really comfortable um, light lip balm there's nothing oily about it. It stays in place like a um, slightly translucent lipstick. It's the perfect amount of shine and coverage on your lips. And it, it, I didn't even feel like I had to wear a lip liner. So you can create a very defined edge if that's all you want to wear. And it's, it's beautiful. It doesn't come out um, red, red. It's not like a mega red ruby color. Um, on me, it was a very natural looking, like, um, flattering, kind of universal red tone. Um, so, absolutely love it. I, what is the SPF on this? My eyes are... It was either, I think it was 30 or 50, but um, whatever it is, uh, highly recommend. It's MD Solar Sciences and um, cute bottle too, or tube. Um, okay, so the next thing, going back to sunscreens, um, I guess my second favorite in terms of the appearance that it has on my face when I apply it is um, this Sunday Riley Lighthearted Broad Spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. Um, and this one, it's zinc oxide, well, these are the, the uh, headlining ingredients. Zinc oxide, turmeric, and blue light defense, whatever that means. Um, but um, this one, although it does have a, it has a lavender cast. So um, that might sound intimidating if you, especially if you don't have really pale skin. Um, that is the tint that I see um, as compared with other Sunscreens, like typically uh, La Roche-Posay, which I'm going to talk about in a second, their mineral sunscreens are like a pure white cast. <laughs> um, so this one actually looks more natural, um, at least on my complexion. And it also imparts a healthy glow, and it, it makes your skin look um, moisturized. Um, not greasy. But I do feel like this is, so it's what I'm wearing right now. Um, and it's more of an everyday um, sunscreen for me. Um, I, I took the uh, blue light defense to mean that it, may, it might be good if I'm like sitting in front of my computer all day. And because it's a lower SPF than I would normally use, 30 as opposed to like 50 um, is my like average. Um, I just, I feel like uh, if I'm going to be indoors, but 
yet again, <laughs> I would be sitting in front of that really um, huge window in my bedroom where all, I can't even film in there because it's um, too bright. But uh, I do get sun exposure there and there's light from my computer if it's dark outside or, you know, cloudy, whatever. Um, this is one that I reach for. I'm almost out of it because this was, I guess, more of a sample size. Um, fairly small as compared with the MD Solar Sciences. Um, but great product. I mean, Sunday Riley, everything is good. <laughs> um, and the other thing I wanted to point out about this is that if you have um, any dry patches or um, skin texture, unlike some mineral sunscreens that I otherwise love that can settle into the, um, the flakes or whatever it is, this one does not do that. Um, it almost kind of seals off your um, skin irregularities and makes them less noticeable. So wonderful if you don't wear any kind of foundation on your skin also, um, just to make your complexion look nicer. Um, the third one I will mention, which is totally different from the others, I had never tried a tinted sunscreen that I liked. Um, typically, if it's tinted, it's because they are trying to um, market towards people who don't have pale skin. I mean, there's a, um, I'll show you the, the color of this. This is by Dermatology, and I think this came out last year. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. So it's, it's like a light, um, more universal tint, um, I guess, than um, the untinted uh, La Roche-Posay standard sunscreens. But um, this is, it's called Physical Tinted Moisturizer SPF 44 Universal Tint Glow and Prevent. And uh, a nice big bottle. Um, whatever the price was, I thought it's definitely justified after I got it and used it, especially. Um, and so you can see, is it 21 ounces? Um, so on my pale skin, this is a, this is a little bit darker, <laughs> um, but it has hyaluronic, hyalur, hyaluronic acid in it as well as um, vitamin E and some other um, ingredients that are like skincare. So you put it on and um, my partner even said, like we went out to a burlesque show, uh, one of the first times I tried it and he's like, wow, your skin looks great. So when someone who sees you every day and you know doesn't often feel the need to compliment you because you're like, you're just the standard presence in their life. Um, it has to be something significant that they that they recognize and they need to comment on it um, because it's like a marked change. So the fact that something as simple as a sunscreen would produce that reaction tells me that it really did plump up my skin. Um, and again, the healthy glow. So probably, so I, I, uh, I, I wore this more in the summertime in the warmer months when I'd been outside more. So I guess I had a slight, um, I wouldn't call it a tan, but um, I wasn't as pale as I am now. This is, you know, I'm very pale. Um, so yeah, that one's a great one. And uh, I wanted to mention, um, I've been using uh, the Kula, um, I said upside down. Yeah, there we go. So Kula has a, um, mineral sunscreen that they actually refer to this as a mineral BB cream, but it's, it's not, you can barely see it. Um, but it is more, it's SPF 30. It's more mattifying. Um, I use this, um, on my nose and my forehead, like in the middle where I can get very, very, very shiny. <laughs> um, and, uh, it doesn't break me out. Um, there's nothing greasy about it. If you shake it up, it does have, I think, rosehip oil or something in it, but, um, it, uh, it's great for oily skin and um, without being drying. Um, then the next thing I will talk about is, I only have a trial size of this as well, or sample size, um, Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Face Liquid Sunscreen, SPF 50. And um, this one is, just zinc oxide um, as the active ingredient. Um, it would I would only recommend this for 
people with very light skin. Um, it isn't shiny. Uh, it does impart a white cast, but this one doesn't settle into um, like dry skin patches or anything else. Um, so I would purchase this in full size. Um, I may purchase it in full size very soon, actually, uh, just for those, you know, for when you're um, going to a goth dance party and you want to be really pale <laughs> or if you're being a vampire. Um, okay, and now I come to what I used to, um, I used to love wearing this. Uh, this is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50 Mineral Sunscreen. I don't know if it behaved this way from day one. This might just be an older bottle, and so now it's like really, it when it dries, so, I mean, I'm getting ahead of myself. I put it on. It's very white. <laughs> um, I can, if I like skip over my chin, which is where I often have, if I'm gonna have acne, it's gonna be on my chin. And uh, I'll pick at everything and then it'll, like start healing. Then I get these little like scabby places that you wouldn't notice so much unless I put this on it. And then it like highlights everything. And as time goes on, especially if I have to wear a mask, um, it like, it'll move and look terrible. It's like I have some kind of, I don't know, you know, oh, you know when you put um, hydrogen peroxide on your skin and it turns the skin white, if you, like get it on your fingertips especially, that's what it looks like. Like there's a powder, like it dries down to a powder and like some of it's been absorbed by my skin and then these little flakes of skin don't do that and so it like goes into them, ugh, it's gross. But um, formerly, and if I had perfect skin, um, I think this would be a great one, but it, it, it is the most white and uh, it, um, I've noticed in photos, if I look back at like October 2020 is when I was using this most regularly, there were photos when there'd be a flash and it was like, wow, my, I'm just, I'm glowing like a ghost, um, which was actually kind of cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't use it as much and I think I'm almost out. So um, I'll probably replace this with the Cetaphil one. Um, it's crunchy. <laughs> um, okay, so that's it for the sunscreen and the sun protective lip balm. Um, I wanted to mention a couple of things that came in my um, Allure Beauty Box this month in February that I wouldn't have tried otherwise. Um, the first one, ooh, the first one is another Sunday Riley product. They call this the Five Stars Eye Serum. And um, I was so impressed with this. Um, not only for what it does if it actually works like I just started using it but actually this might have been the month before last I'm sorry um, this might have been January but it's it's a, a retinol um, poppy seed ceramides uh, retinol complex and I can't, the print is too small, so I can't read all of it, but um, I've been putting on at night, and uh, it, uh, I don't have a tremendous problem with um, lines around my eyes, um, but I have tried, because my under eye area has always been an area of concern due to um, discoloration, and uh, like a kind of a purplish tint, um, because I have very thin skin there, and I have um, deep set protruding eyes and I'm um, genetically predisposed to having dark circles like everyone on my dad's side has those. Uh, they're better um, at my age now, um, I'm 45, um, than they were when I was a kid. I think that's because of my diet and I talk about this in another video but um, yeah uh, so whatever I can do to try and um, keep that skin um, uh, thicker and more robust, healthy, um, which um, retinols supposedly help with, um, you know, um, building up your collagen and that would, in effect, make your skin a little thicker. Um, so the problem with a lot of eye creams for me is, one, if they're too drying and then I can't put um, concealer, I do wear concealer right under my eyes, as little as possible. Um, 
so that it doesn't look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup or any really, I hope. Um, this one is very, um, it's very moisturizing, but not in a, like a slippery or slick way. You put it on and your skin just looks like it, it's glowing. Um, so I can only imagine if you don't have a problem with discoloration, how beautiful that would look if you're just going for like a natural, um, no makeup look. And uh, I've been using it at night. I did try putting my makeup on top of it and it, it wore really well. Like there wasn't this whole fight with me and my concealer against the eye cream. Um, just wonderful. And I'll let you know, um, I do feel like it, it has had an effect of making that skin look more youthful in the short time that I've used it. Um, so again, this is uh, Sunday Riley, um, five stars eye serum. Unless my eyes are tricking me, and anyway, it, but I think that's what it says. Um, I, I've noticed that my migraines, there's this new symptom that I get, and that's blurred vision in this eye. <laughs> I get the pain on the side of my head, and it just started happening in the past year, and it's like, if, I, if that happens, and it's usually going to happen in the morning, I either have some kind of oily residue from whatever I put on my face at night in my eye, or if I wash it out and it's it's still blurry, I'm gonna get a migraine or I'm experiencing one at the time. Um, so yeah, that could be what I'm dealing with right now. Okay, so the last thing is, no, there's gonna be a bonus. The second to last thing is this new mascara that um, came in um, my Allure Beauty Box. This is called, it's uh, Mac Stack Mascara. And I, um, I'm so impressed. I mean, I'm, I'm a really hard sell on mascara. Um, I have very thin eyelashes. They're long, but they don't hold the curl very well because they are so thin and fine, like my hair is. Um, so I'm gonna get as close as possible. You see that? Uh-huh. I like to have them curled. Um, I like to have them as separated as possible and no clumps um, at all. I have no tolerance for clumps. I don't want any of the hairs to be sticking together at all. I will, tr I will like take my fingernail or a sharp object and try and separate after I do the comb through, which doesn't usually do much, but um, I will take my fingernail or, or a dangerous uh, instrument and separate them individually until I'm satisfied and I will keep curling them to make sure that the each lash is going in the same exact direction which isn't always possible because I have like some wayward lashes especially on this eye that kind of like they, they want to go the wrong way <laughs> so anyway um, this I would put in my top five mascaras of all time um, it is let me show you the brush the brush is um, has really stiff bristles. Ooh, that's a good view. You see that? You see that? So it, it separates them really well. The formula is so light, and uh, but it's, it's like an intense black. It's like a black lacquer that is being painted on each of your lashes as individually as possible. Um, so yeah, this is great, and I'll probably buy a full size. Um, my uh, more expensive favorite mascara, if you're like me and you have trouble holding the curl and you have um, really fine lashes, uh, Wander Beauty's um, Unlashed uh, Mascara is uh, very lightweight and um, probably the lightest weight, like I, my eyelashes will stay curled with that one um, and never any smudging with any of these or flaking or any, like I wear them all day. I, wear a mask, take it off, sweat, go to the gym. I've never had a problem that people talk about being a problem sometimes with some mascaras of flaking or smudging. Nothing like that. Um, and um, my other one is um, Maybelline, uh, uh, what is it? Crap, I'm forgetting the name, um, but it's a very popular one. It comes in a pink tube. Um, Lash Paradise or Lash? Anyway, um, it's uh, m much more affordable. It does tend to dry up 
quicker than I'm comfortable with. Sometimes I'll feel like within two weeks it's dry, and that could be um, because it's you know been sitting in a warehouse for a long time. But I have no control over that, and I do know that the Wonder Beauty one can it lasts for like six months. I'm not kidding. If you use it um, like every few days or something, if you like, if that's like your weekend mascara, especially, and um, given that it's a smaller tube than I would consider to be standard, um, that's kind of miraculous. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are uh, the things I wanted to talk about. And I was sitting in this room. I have um, a pillow that I got recently. I ordered it off of Amazon, and um, I'm gonna show it to you. So I know there are a lot of like $200 pillows out there that have, um, they're made for back, uh, back sleepers and side sleepers especially, that are kind of molded and curved in funky ways. It kind of looks like a spaceship or a like a sports car. Um, I'll show you. <laughs> and it's memory foam. So this thing, and I'm mostly a back sleeper. Um, sometimes I used to be a side sleeper, but uh, I feel like being on my back is better for my skin. You know, if you're your head's pretty heavy, so if you sleep on your side, you are crushing one side of your face, and it's not good for your skin. It can also be rough on your bones, um, particularly if you're older and your bones are becoming more porous. So um, I started sleeping on my back intentionally um, about two years ago, like all the time. I and, Oh, the other thing is, if I sleep on my side, this happened um, when I was recovering from uh, my booster, my COVID booster shot, um, after many nights of not sleeping, because it, like a side effect of, I had a bad time with it anyway. Uh, I took Benadryl to make myself sleep after like a week of not sleeping much at all. And I slept so heavily that I didn't wake up. Um, there was a five hour, I usually wake up many times during the night. There was like a five hour stretch where I was crushing my right shoulder and it still hurts. This was the very end or beginning of October, I should say, because I got the booster shot at the end of September. So it was like that first week in October and I, I don't know what I did, but there were like the whole area from my back of my neck all the way collarbone um, to mid back where my shoulder blade um, ends. It's been so painful and like it's it'll feel a little bit better and then I'll do something that seems innocent like shrug my shoulder like this or just lean forward on it or something and it goes back to hurting like hell so another reason not to sleep on your side if you have really broad bony shoulders <laughs> um, this thing I'm just really rambling um, has a get back here so it's memory foam and it's angled like this. If you're a back sleeper, or I think a side sleeper as well, you would use this side of it and not this side. I think this, this part is for stomach sleepers, but it has um, a place for your arms as well. If you like to you know, lean back like this. And it's so good for cradling right under your, um, the base of your skull and tilting your head perfectly so you don't have any neck strain. That's another thing. If I, I'm such a bad sleeper, if I'm the slightest bit uncomfortable, I'm not, I'm going to like struggle um, to fall asleep at all. But this is perfect. The first time I put my, my head in this little spot, it like, it goes up and then it sinks down at just the right angle. Um, see how there's like a, a, an impression right here? Um, I felt immediately soothed and I didn't want to get up. <laughs> Um, so the, uh, oh, and you can take the cover off of it. So there's a zipper and then inside you can see the pillow itself. Um, so you just take the cover off of it and wash it like that. I didn't get an extra pillowcase because I felt like that would just get in the way of my, um, uh, enjoying the full contour effect because if the pillowcase doesn't go in, um, doesn't sink in where the, um, impression is for your skull. I just figured I might be wrestling with that and why bother anyway if it has a cover on it and you can wash it. So um, what is the brand of this? Um, I probably should have had this open on my desktop before I started talking about it. This is sort of spontaneous. 
So it's Marnur, M-A-R-N-U-R, -R, and I don't, I'm going to find the link and I'm going to put it um, down below so you can go there and purchase one if you'd like. It was, I think, $31 or $31.99, which is unreal. It is the best pillow I've ever had. I recently bought a um, uh, Casper pillow that initially I thought was amazing because I, um, I really like uh, dense, firm pillows that are high. You see how there's a pretty, like it doesn't sink in very much, but it is cushy. And I have this nice silk pillowcase and everything. But this didn't allow the proper um, cradling of my head, so it's like it just pushes your head up. So it turned out not to be good for me, and this thing was, I think, $110, um, somewhere around there. Um, so yeah, um, that's it, I think, for today. Sorry for the messy room, but um, I hope the, um, the lighting in here was uh, much better. Uh, for this video and as compared with my other videos and I'll continue to try to improve it um, and uh, Yeah, thanks for watching Have a good day